Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this video is for you if you have your Saturn in Sagittarius. And I'm calling this series What Success Means to You Based on Your Saturn Placement. So this is going to be what success means to the Saturn in Sagittarius person or generation and how the success will actually materialize. So the lighting it's kind of weird. It's overcast today, so that's why it's just, if it looks off to you, that's why. Um, but this is like the best that I could do right now. <laughs> so, when Saturn, the planet of structure and forms and success, when it comes into the sign of Sagittarius, success here is about expanding your mind because Sagittarius is a very broad minded sign and Saturn adds structure to whatever it touches or whatever sign it's in. It kind of um, makes it more rigid, makes it more contained and formalizes it basically. So the success factor for, Sag for Saturn and Sagittarius is an, a responsibility that they feel that they carry to maintain an open mind and maintain an open perspective. Now, the challenge here is keeping that up. <laughs> like continuously learning. The, the thing is, is with Saturn, everything takes time with Saturn. Things are slower. It's a more methodical process with anything that Saturn is in or the sign that it's in. So the knowledge gained and the wisdom gained at the Sagittarius level takes time to achieve. And when Saturn is in any fire sign, it, it's like water and air in the sense where you don't, it's not like Saturn coming into an earth sign where you physically see the manifestation of the success of the Saturn in the earth sign. Like it becomes actually physically visible. Air signs, it's physically seen in their communication and their relationship dynamics. Water sign, it's felt physically in the way that they deal with their emotional internal world. And with Saturn and fire signs, it's more egoic. It's more based on the self and the identity and um, the intuitive processes of the self and it when I say egoic I don't mean it in a bad way I mean like we have to have an ego to have a sense of self and identity because the ego is what defines you know your self-esteem and all that kind of stuff so and defines what you know about yourself so when it's coming into Saturn when when Saturn is coming into Sagittarius Sagittarius is the point of human evolution and development where we are establishing our beliefs and our own vision for life. So Saturn, the success factor for Saturn and Sagittarius is working on learning a wide variety of subjects in order to establish and define these beliefs and these principles. And it's actually a very intelligent placement because you strive and are working towards achieving enlightenment. So I think that the main challenge with this is that sometimes, because Sagittarius is about change as well, because it's mutable fire, Fire is unpredictable and mutable signs are all over the place. So Sagittarius embraces change. They thrive on change. So 
the Saturn slows down that impulse, that natural instinct towards change. So I think it's less of a fully like embracing change, full force, like a freaking impulsive person like Sagittarius. <laughs> and instead trying to learn about what it means to change and trying to gather this information in order to perceive what needs to be changed and how to change it and what else to learn in order to change at all. <laughs> so I think that this Saturn placement also can find it, you know, kind of challenging to take in a lot of information. It just depends on what your Saturn is doing. You know, sometimes this can show up as a very, like, dignified set of morals and beliefs in Sagittarius. Like, you're very rigid with what you believe. But a lot of times, it's more so trying to establish that as well. Like, it's more, it's a challenge with your vision for life and what you um what you give meaning to because that's Sagittarius again that's the ninth house that's it's where we find our meaning our definition of happiness what does that mean to you so it's kind of success to the Saturn and Sagittarius a large part of it a large part of the success is developing your own philosophy of what success actually is because a lot of it is about a search for meaning, a search for a purpose to life. And it's kind of similar to the Saturn and Pisces, but Saturn and Pisces kind of feels it. They don't necessarily need to go out and study it. Sagittarius wants to study life in a very philosophical, scientific, psychological a spiritual religious way to understand what it is about they put like a stamp of meaning onto subjects and onto things that they collect in their mind and in a way they're trying to understand what makes them happy and what gives them a sense of purpose because Again, Sagittarius is the point of human development in the zodiac wheel where we decide where we're going to go in life. This is like the point, the ninth house in Sagittarius shows the point where we're deciding what it is about ourselves that is calling us to achieve whatever we want to achieve. So it's, it's kind of, um, it's about having a vision, creating that vision, but you have to define what it means to even have that vision in the first place. Because you have to give it meaning. You have to give your life some kind of meaning and purpose in order to have the motivation to even achieve the 10th house and the Capricorn archetype. So Saturn in Sagittarius is trying to structure and formalize what your meaning in life is is and it puts you to work doing this by studying all that you can study learning all that you can sharing information all that you can um opening your mind maintaining an open perspective in life in order to discover this meaning for yourself and kind of define your own sense of happiness and purpose so that that is what pushes you forward to achieve in this life so i hope that this kind of made sense and helped you understand the success for saturn and sagittarius and i'll see you next time